I'm saved because I trusted Jesus Christ as my Savior. You don't have to be a Baptist to be saved. You can be a Baptist and not be saved. Salvation does not come from belonging to any particular church. It's found in the Lord Jesus Christ. Faith in Him. But of all the denominations that I could be, I'm a Baptist. I'm a Baptist because I believe we are closer to believing and practicing what the Bible teaches than any other group. I believe that we can trace our heritage all the way back to Christ and His apostles. I believe that. I believe that there is a trail of blood that marks all the way from the first century down to our day and time today. I've been teaching Shelby little church history. And I've been, I've been, we talked about this recently. I said, now Shelby, there's two kinds of Baptists. I might get her to come up and testify. I said, there's two kinds of Baptists. There's Baptists by convenience, and there's Baptists by conviction. A Baptist by convenience is one that was probably raised in a Baptist church or a Baptist home. And they're a Baptist because that's what their family is. Baptist by conviction is different. I started off a Baptist by convenience because I was raised in a Baptist home. Today I'm a Baptist by conviction. I'm convicted that we stand for the truth. I am believe, and I, there's no doubt in my mind, that our churches can trace themselves all the way back to the churches Christ and the apostles established. I think it's important to know this. I belong to the right crowd. But I also know that there are good Christian people who really love the Lord that are not Baptists. I know that. I don't agree with them on certain doctrine. But I can still love them in the Lord. I can appreciate their faith and their dedication. Reminds me of a married couple who couldn't get along. After years of fighting, she moved out. But she only moved next door. One day a friend dropped by to visit this fella and he noticed, man, how clean the house was and his shirts were laundered and there was a prepared cooked food on the counter. He said, man, I don't understand. I thought you and your wife were separated. He said, well, we are. He said, well, who's doing all this for you? He said, well, she is. He said, we can't live together, but she's the best neighbor I've ever had. <laughs> so if Betty ever leaves me, I hope she just goes next door. I think she'd make a mighty good neighbor. But it's, it's right, I mean, you really need to belong to the right crowd. It, it, it bothers me to see our young people leave a Bible-centered, Bible-believing church and go off and join some man-made church that compromises and as liberal as can be. It bothers me when that happens. Maybe we're not doing a good enough job teaching our young people there's a difference. This idea that any one church is good as another is not true. You better make sure what they stand on and what they stand for. Belong to the right crowd, but beware of being self-righteous. A self-righteous critic. Those who know they're in the right crowd sometimes can act self-righteous about it, can't they? Now we need to guard against that. We don't, we don't have to agree on every detail of doctrine to love one another in Christ. You know, not even all Baptists agree. You know, there are several groups of Baptists, right? 